Man, it looks like White Boy Summer has just officially kicked off in the underground because Cemetery, Joey, and Netspend, aka the Caucasian Big Three of the underground, were all seen spotted in the same room together yesterday. And um, that's actually not what this video is about because you see, Cemetery was actually exposed twice, first by Joey and second by a former Haunted Mound member, Goner on two separate occasions, occasions, I know I said it like that, for being um, a bit of a, uh, uh, a not so nice guy. Anyways, let's get started with the Joey thing. So if you didn't know, basically Joey and Cemetery have had beef for quite a while, and the beef is quite one-sided. Basically, for some reason, Cemetery has taken it upon himself to be a social justice warrior, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having political opinions, but you know, out of nowhere basically says, yo, I don't mess with these all blah, 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 these far right people. And uh, apparently Joey is one of those. Uh, why is he one of those? Well, Joey used to be a sound guy for this guy named Sam Hyde. He's a very controversial comedian. He lost his job like a long time ago because of something. I don't really know. I don't really care about Sam Hyde. Anyways, Joey was associated with them. He was really cool with them. And because of this, the mentor just used him. was like, ah, man, F this guy. Uh, recently, he even did an interview where he said, they actually redacted his name, but he said, ah, if I see you, if I see that guy, it's on site. You know, I'm doing it to him. Anyways, that's why yesterday when uh, Joey's manager, Nextel, posted a picture and said, turn around, bro, we just want to talk and tag Cemetery. And Joey did his classic movie pose. Everyone was like, what? You know, he didn't even turn around. You get what I'm saying? And um, everyone was quite shocked. By the way, I will say I saw this picture the moment it came out. I, I did not even realize that it was real because I was like, why the hell would they all be in the same room? Like, what could possibly... Why would Joey and Cemetery be in the same room? Because Cemetery doesn't really seem the type to be going to like these LA parties. You know what I mean? Well, it turns out, if you look very closely on the right of that picture, Netspend is in that as well. Wait, what is Netspend doing there? What? Well, it turns out it was, Ch uh, sorry, Chief Keef's, um album release party that they were all attending. All right. So anyways, let's see uh, what everyone had to say about this. All right. So, um, someone said, do you think your followers knows who these white boys are? Uh, he said, yes. Joey, my goat. Joey's fire. Net in the back minding his business like the goat he is. By the way, Net spent his pictures with both Joey and Cemetery. So it seems like he's like Switzerland in this, um, in this, uh, white boy beef. He's, uh, he's neutral. That's what I mean. By the way, someone did post the interview that Cemetery did where he said it's on site or it's on when he sees them. And, uh, I'm going to, uh, put up this picture and I'm sure someone's gonna make edits <laughs> like this whole situation because it is pretty funny basically the interviewer asked cemetery is there any living person you most despise Cem cemetery said no personal beefs that need to be on record I'm not rocking with Joey I'm not rocking with the all oh I can't say that in the underground that's the best I can offer they need to not make music anymore if I could I'd make sure he wasn't around you take it into your own hands yeah when I see these foals it's on <laughs> someone else said why don't white crime yay Another person said, the most damning thing we should all be taking away from this is incident is that there's a very likely chance that Chief Keef is one degree of separation away from Sam High. Uh, I don't think they know each other like that. By that, I mean Joey and Chief Keef. So anyways, here's the thing. Not only did he not talk to, so basically what they alleged was, yo, Joey was behind them for like 30 minutes, an hour, and Cemetery didn't even turn around. He didn't even look at them, which, you know, I understand you don't want to make a scene because it's Chief Keef's birthday or, you know, we don't know if that's what the reason was, but I get that you don't want to throw down or anything, but it's like, oh, you're not even going to look at him. You're not even going to do anything. It looks like Joey's just trolling. <laughs> look at his shirt. <laughs> He's wearing like a, a cowboy hat. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, a member of Shed Theory, which is uh, one of, it's not Joey's group, it's a group he's a part of, said, his name is Laker, by the way, he makes like, well, he's pretty cool, he's fire. He said, it's on site, then called the cops, face palm. Basically, Cemetery allegedly called the cops on Joey, and I don't think he called the cops, I think he probably told security, like, yo, these guys are messing with us, and they probably told them, like, yo, what are y'all doing, blah, 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 blah. The thing is, I don't know. You look at Cemetery and you look at Joey, and I'm not saying either of them look like clean cut or anything, but they kind of seem the same. So, if, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, it looks like Cemetery uh, snitched on them. Yeah, he snitched. You know, like, bro, I was expecting you were going to, you know, take the cutters out or something. I didn't know you were going to. Um, you know, come on, bro. What happened to taking this into your own hands? Like, by the way, if you know anything about weight classes, if Cemetery tried to fight Joey, like, he would get smushed. I don't even, like, he would get, yeah, it would not end well for him. You know what I mean? 
Anyways, um, people were clowning on Cemetery for, uh, you know, calling the cops. Imagine getting pressed by Joey. Cemetery, yes, officer, <laughs> grave man. <laughs> Did he for real LMAO? <laughs> by the way, I don't really know if he, like, actually, la actually, actually, actually called the cops. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, yeah. I feel like it kind of shows the difference between the two fan bases as well. I feel like Cemetery is, you know, it just shows that it's like you're not really about that. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's Chief Keef's album party, but it's like, are you really like going to, you know, be doing all that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, there are other videos and whatnot of like Shed Theory members addressing this beef, but I'm not going to go too into it. Laker and Ricky Chicks actually dropped like a diss track on Cemetery prior to this saying, Oh, I thought you was a shooter. Oh, I thought you was a bala. You ain't, you just a greasy rat. Dang. I think there's, uh, they're referring to Cemetery's greasy hair. Um, and yeah, they were just clowning him. Like, He's behind me. And he, that, that, that. You know, um, and other people were just cloning, you know, let's hope this madness ends before the bloodshed prayer, you know, you know what I mean? And it, the funniest part is like Netsman is just chilling <laughs> the entire part. Like he just, he's just cool with everyone. Um, Cemetery also allegedly DM'd Netspen Central this picture and then blocked him. And then Netspen Central blocked him. I don't know. I'm just joking. That's obviously a joke. But anyways, fans did ask Cemetery why he didn't swing or do anything. He said, I can never disrespect my goat Sosa after party. And it looks like there were uh, some Haunted Mound fans in this comment section. I mean, it was a Haunted Mound fan page that posted this. That Joey tried not to make the night about himself and Clout Chase challenge. I don't think he tried to make the, the night about himself, but it's like, you understand, Joey did not do anything. He literally was just being chill. And Cemetery made this whole thing like, bro, dude, man, like, bro, this these people bro like they, they don't they're not uh, 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 it's all sad. Uh, 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 if i see them i'm gonna take the cutters out like and then they see you at a party and then you don't even say anything to them like you can't even look at them kind of lame i will say though i'm not gonna just defend i'm not gonna just like dog on cemetery the whole time number one cemetery's whole like persona is being like a Head, you know like no one's you know cemetery's whole persona is like not being a nice guy like it's literally being you know asshole that's his whole persona so you know i don't really expect i don't think anyone expected clear cut behavior out of him or just him to be super nice or cordial but you know calling the cops or the security or whatever not great anyways that was the light situation there was actually something much more serious and this has to do with goner so i actually made a video on goner and turnabout i believe leaving um haunted mound so basically if you didn't know a couple months ago goner and turnabout left haunted mound they kind of joined together so when they left together i was like what what happened bro what happened oh my god did cemetery do this and they're like well you know we all it was on mutual terms we had to leave this and that and you know uh, we're sorry this happened but you know at the end of the day it's mutual it's all love but it just you know things had to happen blah 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 if you didn't know right after they left I believe both of their or one of their Instagrams were taken down and you know, I think one of their girlfriends was like, screw that dude, blah, blah, blah. And you know, it was pretty obvious it was not a mutual, like they, they it was not a mutually, you know, respected decision, you know? Anyways, yesterday, May 10th, 2024, Goner issued a statement and he wrote like a lot of words and it's in the notes app so you know it's pretty serious and um sorry it sounded like i was joking about it but i'm pretty sure this is some pretty heavy stuff so i'm actually not gonna just put up the text i'm gonna just flash it real quick and then i'm gonna read it because uh you guys have short attention spans and this gameplay seems to entice you more anyways let me read through it why i left haunted mound i'll start by saying this is the only time i'm addressed this is only addressing cemetery or zane that's his real name i have so much love for everybody else i was never able to do this because i didn't want this to be what started turn i's solo journey of music i'm struggling to stay quiet and respectful based on my very last experience with zane as previously stated although there were many instances of disrespect unfair power dynamics and disagreements turn and i left wanted nothing turn and i left wanting nothing but mutual respect on may 3rd 2024 we decided to purchase tickets and go to slc go to the salt lake city show for hound and mound this was an effort to show support and provide an opportunity to come to an understanding for someone who hates the law so much the joke wrote itself when we were greeted by security who had pictures of our passports saying we weren't allowed in that's funny that cemetery kept pictures of their passports and of course the fact that he called security on them he called i believe it's not it's called like 
11, like they call him like 11. Like, yo, 11's there. If you're ever at like a show or something, that's just what they call security. Keep in mind, we never had an idea of causing any harm or trouble, just showing support. I would understand the concern if we happened to be with tons of people, but it was just us and our girlfriends. This was a slap in the face and solidified my judgments on Zayn. I also want to address that I'm grateful for the opportunities given to me by Zayn, but I will not let any contribution to Haunted Mound go unnoticed. There are three main factors that led Turn and I to our departure. Personality, control, and abuse. Uh, neither of those seem to be uh, heading in a great decision uh, direction, but you know, I'm gonna stop interrupting him. Keep going, Connor. I've never met anyone who was so disrespectful and shameless about the way he treated my friends, my family, and everybody else in Haunted Mound's loved ones as well. For example, my girlfriend would make jokes as anybody does and was told, yeah, well, I can fire your boyfriend or I gave your boyfriend a job. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I, know, okay. I know this is like messed up, but <laughs> I'm just imagining cemetery like in a basement. <laughs> like a forest in Northern California <laughs> telling some Irish dude, his girlfriend, like, <laughs> yo, I gave your boyfriend a job. Like he works at Burger King or something. Or <laughs> Man. All right. All right. Anyways, which to him was funny. And I'm not gonna lie that that is pretty funny, but only that it's cemetery saying this. And he's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, but it is messed up. Of course, you know, you imagine you're like best friends with someone. You're in a group, you know, you want to be like tight knit and be like bros with someone, but this dude is just a really like a bad person. Like Cemetery is a horrible human being. But the worst part about this, and I'll explain this later in this video, is that that's literally his entire like person. That's his aesthetic. Like there were all like if you if you're a fan of like rock or punk or metal, like a lot of these artists, like it's cool for them to be bad people and their fans love it. And they don't even idolize the fact that they're bad people. It's more of, it's just like cool. It's like, oh, there's a problem with the guitar at the show. Just snap it and just leave, you know, get mad and do this and that. Like, oh, you know, you know, I'm a rock star. You know, it's like, that's, and Cemetery kind of gives out that vibe. I guess he just thinks it's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyways, um, he said, which to him was funny, even if her original joke had nothing to do with my employment or telling my friends to F off when trying to introduce themselves at the Cutter Lane co cabin party. Turn shares similar experiences as well. Throughout our time in Haunted Mound, Turn specifically dealt with constantly being belittled, having his ideas instantly shot down and treated like his two cents had no value or made no sense. Being told things such as, yeah, that's not happening or shut the f up, Turn. <laughs> Bro, Cemetery is such a piece of... Mind you, these are only a, sl a sliver of the experiences Turn and I have had in the three years of knowing him. This was driven by his ego, god complex, and full belief of his character. There was never a moment when he was out of character. I struggled with this because I genuinely cared about him as a friend. It was hard for me to confront him on his disrespectful behavior as this unfair power dynamic grew. This became a severe issue for us when the power, dy dynam when the power dynamic bled into everybody's creative process. In our experience, it was a battle to drop prior to any of Zayn's projects. It's also a fight to do collabs or any outside work without his permission. How do you expect us as young adults navigating life and trying to make a living expect us to grow when all you did was hinder our growth? On a fundamental level, no person who claims to be your friend should hinder how much you make other income and control your creative choices. While everyone is living at their parents' houses, he would, const he would consistently flex his success and daily purchases on the backs of everyone's contribution the past three years. All of these issues grew even larger when his substance use became more frequent. This is not going in a nice direction. Basically, Cemetery is flexing on them and uh, just not allowing them to do stuff. Now, there are already rumors of this, not even rumors, people know. I, there's this guy named JJ Valhalla and there's this whole thing with him and I'm not even gonna go into it because it's like, I actually have a video on this on my main channel. Go check it out, just look up Cemetery. Basically, Cemetery controls everyone in Haunted Mount. It's been known this. I think other than maybe Hackle, like all the other newer ones, like just, yo, you gotta do everything. So. I don't know. I feel like I'm not, I'm still going to read through the whole thing, but I feel like everyone in Haunted Mound, like either you have no self-respect, you're a horrible person yourself, or you just, I don't know. Maybe you're just like, I don't know. Maybe you're just okay with it. I mean, that means you have no self-respect. It kind of just shows like what type of a person you have to be to be in Haunted Mound. Like, I feel like this is worse than being a groupie. You're literally like, uh, I think someone in the, actually, never mind. but this is what they do to like, I don't know. This is what they would do in showbiz in like the early early 20th century like what is like you know what i mean like why is i don't know i don't know but you know let's keep going let's keep going 
I will say though, like nothing about this is surprising. Like this is totally on brand for Cemetery and I'm not even surprised and I don't even think anyone really cares. It was just kind of like messed up. But it is interesting to get like an inside look into all of this. And I don't think this was, and this isn't the first and it's definitely not going to be the last. Anyways, here's what he says. Zane's use has progressively gone worse specifically within the last year. At first it was just pouring up with the boys and has now evolved into a full on opiate addiction taking up to 6 30s a day. Because of this, that means like perks, because of this his withdrawals have massively swayed his temperament and decision making. There were days on tour where his withdrawals were insufferable. His substance use is nothing but hypocrisy. For example, in July of 2023, we embarked on our tour to Australia and New Zealand. On this tour, a fellow member of Haunted Mound was sent home due to concerns of addiction and a growing drug habit that was going too far, all while Zayn continued to do forcing zero repercussions just because he is the boss. I mean, hey guys, he's, he's the boss. Cemetery, that's a little cemetery, he good. What do, you, what do you think you're doing? You think you can do the same that cemetery can? No, no, go home. Sorry, it is it's pretty messed up. Um, you know, once again, I don't even know what to say. Like, this is literally like the most cliche thing. Some, you know, like him just. I would say though, um, it kind of just. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like there's gotta be something that ha I don't even. I'm not even gonna say it, but how do people even end up like this? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you end up a SoundCloud rapper with his own? I don't. Even, that's yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna just keep reading. Turn and I have repeatedly stated our concerns to Zayn about his addiction, which clearly, for a lack of better term, went in one ear and straight out the other. This culmination of his concerns is what drove us to lose passion in this project. Turn and I no longer want to represent such a power-hungry, disrespectful, and insufferable person. We are not doing this for clout. We feel the truth must be addressed. Much love to everybody that has supported us, and much love and best wishes to the rest of the guys still in Haunted Mount. And you know, straight off the bat, people weren't super, super, super like receptive to it. Like some people were just making fun of it. Wow, who would have guessed the guy who'd been excuse, accused of being super A-word by his ex-girlfriend, ex-best friend, and own fans is, you know, doing this type of stuff. Another person said, Cemetery taking up to six blues a day? Didn't know he was a real geeker like that. Damn. Bruh, the guy who raps about being an a-hole and doing is an a-hole and, do and does What? Finally, a reason to hate Cemetery. Finally? Finally! Okay, okay I'm just joking. <laughs> The cemetery haters have won. When the random East celeb you dislike for just being dub and annoying and unfunny finally is outed for a legitimate reason to dislike them. So I would say that, you know, this has been on, and I've talked about this before. I believe his ex girlfriend made like a post on Tumblr about him doing something very strange to animals, which I'm not gonna get too deep into because this is YouTube. Um, yeah, so Cemetery has been doing this. I would say like, oh, finally a reason for us to hate Cemetery. I feel like, okay, I think this is from a Haunted Mound fan's perspective. Basically, like he's done weird stuff in the past and even to like ex-members or whatnot. And, you know, everybody knows Cemetery and Ghost Mountain and how they fell out and that Ghost Mountain, Ghost Mountain will never come back. Like, bro, this just makes it so much like, bro, I don't think any money in the world could ever want convince someone to come back to a situation like this like why would you want to be with a raging addict who's power hungry disagrees with everyone it's just like a horrible like like why would you want to be around someone like this do you know what i'm saying and he's just a he's just like emotionally manipulating everyone and just like being super weird and whatnot you know what i'm saying he's also like a yeah just bro come on come on come on come on like as a grown man so yeah shout out ghost mountain for just and all people did was really harass him too afterwards so it's like dang um yeah, so this isn't really the only reason, but basically cemetery fans, they're such glazers that they'll be like, bro, bro, dude, it's just like, they'll just, they'll just ignore it or something. But since Goner and Turn were in Haunted Mound for such an extended period of time, and they were definitely shown love by cemetery. And by the way, cemetery did give these guys careers. Like, you know that meme? We changed that broke dude's life. Like he changed their, these broke guys' lives from lives from Ireland or whatever. I don't, I think they're from Ireland, but, um, Anyways, uh, yeah, I guess there's finally something where like, okay, maybe this guy's a not very nice dude. Anyways, uh, someone else pointed out a video where Cemetery basically said like, yo, you know, being too much on substances is bad for business. And you know, if one of the boys is too much on it, we got to send them back home. You know, you got to lose your job. And yeah, you know, it's just, you can't get too strung out. It's bad for business. Uh, yeah. If any of my guys were getting too strung out, I'd be like, get yourself together. You're fired. You know, that's what they did. They sent someone back home on the Australia tour. But looks like he's not abiding by those same rules. And, you know, the best way to lead, as they say, is to lead by example. 
<laughs> Anyways, people are saying more things. Bro running that shit like it's a K-pop group. If you don't know about K-pop, it's like a pretty messed up industry where they... Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I can't even like go into all that. It's pretty heavy. It's, it's a lot. Bow down to my knees when the Lord can't... You know, it's, you know, it's the same stuff. Damn, I really wanted to believe this split was on good terms, but I'm not surprised it went like this. Okay, man, like what did you... How did you think this went like? Did you think they went to cemetery and were like, hey, bro, you know, um... Our values just don't align with this group any longer and uh, we think it's best for us to leave and he was like you know what dude you know what I, I think you're right I think you're right I'm a raging addict and I cannot control myself and uh, you know everybody here is kind of scared of me and they're all walking on eggshells and uh, they're like kind of guilty because I gave them careers but they also hate their lives but you know um, and I totally understand man I totally understand guys uh, you're free to go um, this is gonna be mutual I'm gonna be very respectful about this uh, I wish you the best or do you think it went something like bro what the f bro get back you know like what do you think you're doing like you know you think he had that reaction or that reaction i'm gonna leave it up to you a lot of people were saying love to him and i would say much love to him as well because you know at the end of the day you know um he got pretty messed up i would say you know looking at the half the sorry the the glass half full haunted mound has a very cult fan base that really rides for cemetery and everyone in haunted mound like they sell a lot of merch they do a lot of shows like they're one of those like cemetery one thing about cemetery is he understands branding like n very few other rappers and he's nailed it he's absolutely absolutely nailed it so with like a lot of creators even like youtubers whatever musicians they don't something very underrated is understanding your audience and i feel like cemetery like understands his audience so well and i don't even i don't think it's totally on purpose because that would be giving him too much credit but he definitely knows a thing or two like that man is not <laughs> he's not dumb you know he's not dumb and uh he definitely has crafted such a cult fan base and done such a good job of doing doing so that i believe a lot of these people are going to um stream goner and turnabout's music i think they'll buy their clothes i think they'll support them and i think they'll be able to you know make a good living i just think they won't ever you know be cool with cemetery it's cool um and yeah more people were just um sending you know thoughts and prayers like what else could you really do someone else said it's so over the sosa after party incident now this and i'm gonna leave it at there with the whole fans things and i'm just gonna say a little bit and we'll leave it off you know to me, I never really cared about what Cemetery was as like a person because, you know, most artists are not good people. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like when artists are very mainstream and something bad happens to them, I feel like fan the bigger an artist is, the more an artist is put on the pedestal. So when something comes out and someone says something, for example, Iz Iggy Azalea said some stuff and their police reports about Cardi and so much stuff, you know, people always like, they're always looking up, they're like, they're, their chin is so, their neck is so up and their head is tilted so up, they're like, oh my God, Cardi, Cardi, Cardi. So they like totally overlook it. With Cemetery, it's kind of that way. It's been that way kind of still because a lot of his fans, I guess, ped pedestalize him. Like they kind of do with Cardi or those Cardi fans. That makes sense. But I feel like the lower and lower the rung is, like with people like Goner and Turn who aren't as popular, people like, I don't know, they, they humanize these artists more and they see them more on their level. So they actually empathize with these situations more, if that makes sense. Or that's what I've seen in my, um, in my experience. Anyways, you know, prayers for both of them. Um, if any um if anyone knows anything about cemetery he is not leaving those fools alone like they're gonna uh, definitely go through a thing or two um i would also say it looks very bad for cemetery first you know you call the cops on joey at chief keefs after uh, sorry you know album release party and now this all in the same you know 24 hour span i don't think goner in turn planned this or anything i think it was just an unfortunate turn of events uh some may call it karma but you know looks like cemetery is uh it's getting canceled uh lastly i do want to say absolutely nothing is gonna happen to cemetery he's honestly just gonna replace these two guys with um actual yes men you know what i mean um and i feel like these new yes men will know what they're signing up for if that makes sense uh what else i will say one thing though you know real like brotherhood and camaraderie and these types of group relationships you can't just come by when cemetery first did this he was i said this in my other video my original video about them leaving the group and haunted mound had not like blown up through tiktok then not become that big yet it was not like haunted mound was not like it was a thing but you know Sorry, Haunted Mountain wasn't a thing because he had just been assembling it, but I mean, Cemetery and the whole movement wasn't really a thing like that yet. It wasn't, he hadn't blown up like that, if that makes sense. So these people were more true fans and 
I feel like he's taking, he really took for granted what people who really loved you or really messed with you could bring, you know, like whoever he brings on from that, right? from now on are just gonna be like glazers or you know it's just and i mean of course they have to be clones in some sense but it's like all right you know wouldn't it, wouldn't it have been so much cooler if they were like actual if they were actually your people if they were really you know like these people have, you know you've grown with these people i mean they said you haven't grown but yeah yeah it's just unfortunate man um anyways uh yeah shout out goner shout out turnabout shout out joey shout out that shed theory shout out one c why did i say one c and <laughs> one team and uh Shout out Cemetery and Haunted Mound, I guess. Um, pray for everyone in Haunted Mound, by the way. I can't. One thing, one last thing. I'm really like curious what their contracts are looking like. Are these like the most. Are these like the worst contracts ever? Like, is he signed them under like a 360 where he makes like 60% of their money or something? I don't know. I'd be very curious. I'd be very curious. But uh, yeah. Um, I can't wait for someone to make a Victims of Cemetery. But I'm just joking. Video. But, uh, anyways that was it this was a kind of a long video i didn't expect it to get so long i was yapping like crazy on this one but um take care guys hope you had a great day today um sorry for the late upload i just uh, had some stuff to do and uh love you bye